Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwame Yasha Allah. Kohu Loyumla. Yawa Bashim Yawashai. Bahashem Raka Hakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Aki and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yawa Bashim Yawashai to the best of their ability. This is Akhanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick blessing, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to touch on this article right here with uh, Joe Biden. He's going to give that speech, you know, Biden's H-O-L-O -O cost memorial speech holds key to his future as protest and anti, you know, rage, anti-sim rage, right? OK, it says seven months. Of course, they're going to give you the history. Seven months after the Hamas launched the deadliest attack on the, you know, the people that's over there. Since the H-O-L-O -O cost, President Joe Biden will be tasked with delivering one of the most high stakes, closely watched speeches when he addresses the H-O-L-O -O cost memorial ceremony at the U.S. Capitol. Right. And, you know, let me get this quick scripture right here. Because people know what's going on. It's not like um, people don't know, but, you know, by the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shemel, we definitely know what's actually happening, man. Um, 2 Corinthians 20, 11, let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of the fact that, you know, they're going to keep on pushing this anti thing. They're writing bills. They're basically saying you can't teach the Bible. All these different things are popping up. And we understand as to why, because the lies that they've told for all this time is unraveling and people are not with it. People are not not feeling it no more. They used to be able to, um, you know, just put some shit on TV, say this, 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 this and this. And people were just, you know, going about their lives and believe it. You know, you have a lot of um, Christian churches here. All these Christians, here, I, I, I would have to say at least probably 80 90 percent of the christians here they really believe that those are the people and they're and they are with what they're doing these christians that believe in you know white jesus which is a damn idol because the lord's name is not jesus and those people don't even believe in him that's the crazy part they out here you know they they, they send the money over there because see they're not just getting funds from you know um aid from the u.s as far as just the government they're getting aid from a lot of these churches a lot of these churches here in the Americas, they send money to Israel. A lot of money, too. A lot of money. A lot of these big these big churches, they have a fund, you know what I'm saying, um, geared towards um, sending finances over there to, to, to that land. And so they caking, you know, but we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, how they got all these different distractions out in the news right now. Like I just seen an article, you know, they, they going back and forth with this, um, you know, and this is just pretty much, you know, Negroes are so easily distracted you know they got the, the the drake and um kendrick lamar shit going on i just seen an article with supposedly a shooting near his i'm thinking his mansion or his house or whatever the case may be you know so they're gonna ride with that for a second you know you got um all these different things that are playing out in the news that's just bullshit this place is about to be blown to smithereens with thermonuclear <laughs> fire <laughs> And these people are out here just paying attention to all kinds of bullshit. Trump trial, you know, him possibly going to Rikers. You know, they ain't finna send that dude to Rikers Island, man. I seen an article on that earlier talking about how if they send him to jail, you know, because, you know, they're finding him in contempt of court. They keep finding him. The judge is like, wait, well, hey, we're going to, you know, hey, throw your ass in jail. They're not. They, they talking about how it's going to be all kinds of civil unrest, how the country is divided already. And, and it'll send the, the, you know, the country into an uproar with Trump supporters, you know, and all this other shit. So it's a lot that's going on out here, man, you know. And that's why the scriptures talks about being what? Circumspect. Let's get that real quick. Uh, Ephesians 5 and 15, right? See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. That's a, that's a commandment from the Lord to, to, to look, to watch. To to um check out what's going on, man. There's no way that you should be in this troop and you don't know about some news. <laughs> For real. 
that and the scripture talks about um how um being not ignorant in, in a matter whether it's a great or small whether it's great or small you shouldn't be ignorant in, in in these types of matters man these things matter you have to warn the flock this is a part of our job to look at and we 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 should be better investigative reporters than any of these edomites man out here trying to do their thing and we we filter it and break it down through the scriptures man but it says, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. You're living in very wicked and evil days and times because this man is about to come down with great wrath. Why? Because they're losing. See how they've been trying. They, they, they've been they, now they've been trying to break up a lot of these protests at these college. Right. All they've done was throw fucking gasoline on the fire, man. It's more and more protests now. And guess who they protesting against? The people that's over there in the Holy Land claiming to be the holy people and they losing the info war. They are losing. And it's crazy because they, oh, they they you know, they own a lot of the media. So they've been able to control the narrative for a long time. But now it's like, up oh, that shit done shifted and it just it. So and we know that that's all about the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai, right? Anyway, let's see what else. Now, check this out, too. I, I found this to be interesting in the article as well. See, Esau is very damn crafty, man. It says, um, his remarks also fall squarely seven months from the election day where Biden is trying to put together a coalition of young, black, Muslim, and progressive voters that sent him to the White House. Now, why is he focused on you Negroes? Because he know y'all silly enough to go out and vote for him. But see, even that is, is caving on him. Even that is falling on him. You trying to go after some Muslims that actually they 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 they, they back in Palestine? Come on, bro. I know here in Michigan where they were screaming um DTA or Death to America. These damn Arabs here, man, they not with Trump. Um, I mean with um um Biden, man. They don't like Trump neither, but they'll vote for um Trump over Biden right now. But see that that's that's key right there. Notice what it says again. President Joe Biden will be tasked with delivering one of the most um. No, let me slack you. It says, um, his remarks also fall squarely seven months from an election day where Biden is trying to put together a, co a coalition of young, black, Muslim, and progressive voters that sent them to the White House. See? And he's trying to get you younger voters because he already got the older ones. These, old, these older so-called blacks, especially so-called black women, she's going to vote for Biden no matter what. I, I just passed... A house in, in my neighborhood, they got the damn um, Biden and Kamala Harris sign in the front yard. I'm looking like, are you fucking, I mean, but it's an older lady and, and, and I already know that's how she's going to do. She, she she don't care about him um, um wanting you to abort your baby. She doesn't care about, you know, um all this, this A, B, C, D, E, F, G shit that he's pushing on the people. He doesn't, she she doesn't care about, you know, um drag queens um, reading to your children at, 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 at elementary school and shit like that. They don't care about none of that stuff they don't care about the war that's going on over there they don't care about the you know they don't care they're gonna go out and vote for this guy so now they're focused on who the young black and they really want the male because they know the nigga woman she's going to vote for him they ain't, they ain't worried about her at all he a hey, he's gonna he, he's gonna get the vote from the so-called black woman just strictly on the strength of she can continue to get abortions just that alone see so this is it's all crafty counsel, man. It says, um, but many no longer see eye to eye with his stance in the Israel Hamas um war. So that's to see he's losing. They're losing on that end. And that's the reason why, you know, they're putting Trump through such um bullshit. You know, you know, I ain't riding with neither one of them. You know, of course we're not riding with hey, we pray for the worst one to get there though. We pray for the one that's going to push this thing on over into that market of beauty and the beast and that World War Three, so our Lord can come and we can get the fuck out of here. So whichever one that does the best job of destroying America, that's who we pray that, that makes the list, you know, as president of the United States. Okay, it says in his, in it, in his address, Biden will talk about the October 7th Hamas attack on Israel that led to the deadliest day for Jewish people since the H-O-L-O -O cost. And a surge in anti sem right? White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre told reporters the president will speak 
to the horrors of October 7th. They ain't gonna, he ain't gonna speak to the horrors of, of them bombing the shit out of Gaza. He ain't gonna speak, or he might say a little something because he's, he's, you know, we can, as I've been watching him, he's double tongue. You know what I'm saying? And, and the scripture talks about a double minded man. You know, you, you can't trust a double minded man, a man that's given the change. He's back and forth. I was watching the news yesterday and a reporter asked the same question that I've been asking them all along. Like, how is it that you're supporting Israel, you know, with the aid and with the ammunition to destroy Gaza, but at the same time trying to give Gaza humanitarian aid? This shit is like, it, it's backwards as hell. If you really want to help these people in Gaza, why don't you just stop giving a shit to um, Israel? And, and they just, they, they, and the least of the flock going to draw them out. Israel is going to get you Americans blown to smithereens, and that's all prophetic, so there's nothing you can do about it. So we just pray that it continues, man. Con we pray for the downfall of Esau Edom's kingdom, and, and they're all Edomites. I seen a beautiful post yesterday uh, 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 a brother had up, and um, <laughs> I forgot how it was worded, but it was like, you know, uh, basically, hey, stop with the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you know, you, you, you damn, you... You people that's over in the Holy Land, you're, you're white people too. Well, we would say so-called white because they're actually pinkish to reddish in color. I seen one in Walmart yesterday so goddamn dusty, like, you know, and I'm looking like, bro, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just like I'm just looking at him like, come on, bro. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to keep it classy. It says the speech will be delivered doing... During the U.S. H.O.L.O. Cost Memorial Muse Museum Annual Days of Remembrance Ceremony, which occurs the day after Israel's Yom HaShoah, or, or H.O.L.O. Cost Remembrance Day, to commemorate the six million Jews deleted by Nazi. And what does that have to do with America? Why aren't you feeding your, your citizens? Why aren't you... Um, 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 you know, checking into why there's so much GMO foods and 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 and, and, and um, processed foods and and you know the the cancer rates and uh, you know all these damn diseases that's here in America. Why why aren't you focused on that? Why aren't you focused on your suicide rate, your opioid rate? Why aren't you focused on helping your people? These people get a whole separate bill, but you got 911 that supposedly assists any American citizen that has a problem. But you give them a bill, it's, it, it, it's as if, okay, you don't, it's like you're giving them rights above your even your own citizens. These people have nothing to do with here other than they running the place. I mean, it just, you know, when you think about it, it, you know, this is why people got the type of mindset that they have towards these people. Because people see that shit and they like, well, what the fuck? Even in these comment boards, when you look at the comment boards of these stories, people, at these so-called white people here in America, pissed. Only ones that's not paying attention is Jake, man, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the real Hebrew Israelites. They're not concerned. They're, they're, you know, they just like on with their life. They worried about Drake. Matter of fact, let me see if I, um, I just seen that. And, and you know, you can, you know, even like, and, and you could just look at little stuff like this, like in, the, um, I'm in the Apple app right now. Ice T dismisses Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef as random male gossip. Uh. All this entertainment shit, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it is, it, you know, your Taylor Swift bullshit. It's a, it's all bread and circus, man. All this stuff like this is, all these stories are just bread and circus. What Drake, what Drake Kendrick beef means for their careers, see? Now I'm thinking both of them sitting pretty decent on some bread, you know. But see, they got Ukraine strain, military trials, a new style of recruitment. No one wants to go to um to, to these um these places, man, because they know that they're 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 it's a, it's a great percentage that they're gonna die, man. They, they don't. <laughs> hey, they've been getting um um hammered over there, man. And these people are not telling the truth. But when you look at some of these these real specialists or these experts that be talking on the, on the numbers that these Ukrainians done lost over there, man, that shit is ridiculous. They've been getting slaughtered, man. But they'll tell you. That you know, um, they're winning. You know, uh, 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 the U.S. has to send more aid. They're sending all this, all this money. They're sending, and and then meanwhile, like I said again, these Americans going through it. 
the gas been over three dollars where I'm at for I don't know how long. No, no, normally it will fluctuate. That shit is is not going anywhere. You're killing the people with the gas. You pretty much working to go to sleep or sleeping to go to work. However you want to put it. You go to the supermarket. You 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 only getting a couple of items for a hundred dollars, man. Basics, basic shit. If you have a family of two, three, four, five, six, seven, I can't even imagine. I'm on a dolo, and, and I be looking like, well, damn, you know, I'm not complaining, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm content with what what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has blessed me with. So you know, hey, I'm not complaining, you know, but I do notice. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front like I don't notice the prices fluctuating you know what i'm saying because i get the same stuff normally every week you know just replenishing stuff and i'm no noticing that okay that shit just went up 20 cent that shit just went up a dollar same things so the people can't afford rent the rent is through the roof now and they continually going up on that fucking rent bro it's people that's the chariots baby it's people at 1144. Hey, it's people out here homeless. There's people out here living out of their car. I seen a um a damn Edomite lady yesterday. I'm like, God damn. She was out here, man, pushing the goddamn cart. She was dressed though. You know, she was dressed. You could tell she was she'd been out here in the elements, though. You could tell. But she, you know, she was dressed. She she appeared to have on, you know, the the the, the clothes that she had on was kind of dirty, but you could tell it was a good quality of clothing, even her boots. You know, but I seen her, you know, she had this the shopping cart, you know, with all, um, you know, with big ass bags of clothes in it. And she was pushing it at Walmart, you know, on the outside of Walmart in the parking lot. And if you go to your local Walmart, that's where you'll see a lot of these people at. You'll see um, Esau, man, they living out of their cars. If you see a car with a, a visor going across the windshield and, you know, the windows are kind of darkened out. And, hey, these are people that's out here living out of their vehicles, man. Now, Esau, he's making it illegal for you to um be homeless. Now, I'm not sure how they're going to work that out because you figure that, hey, shit, if you're going to take me to jail, at least if I'm going to jail, I'll be housed. I get some clothing. You know, I get some meals. You know, and see, that's why, you know, a lot of these people, they don't have no problem doing reckless ass crimes, man. So they'll just go to jail like, fuck it, man. I'm better off just going to jail. At least, you know, I can be warm. I can be out of the elements, you know, you know, because right now I'm just not doing well. So they'll crack your ass over the head. And, and 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 rob you to just get over and if it's not successful they got a win-win situation going on because okay well at least i'm going to jail and i'll be housed <laughs> so hey you have to you have to watch yourself out here man this place is through see they got shit like this going on forget, forget freeing the nipple look at this chicks out here all on the all over the place butt ass naked all about the tush they ain't got no ass all these assless ass chicks out here. They even um J-Lo. She out here still trying to show her little fucking body. Her her music career, you know, this little last album, she she just flopped. Nobody trying to go to her concert. She flopped. So now she out here showing that ass again. Nobody want to see that 60-year-old ass, man. You made some money. You it's not like you don't have it. She got a little bread put away. Go ahead and chill. You got the Chloe Kardashian um shit. They you know these Kardashians still doing their thing. The Bachelors, you, it's just a bunch of craziness, man. And you can, like I said again, all you got to do is scroll through your news, man. This is the type of shit that people are into. Blogging, vlogging, podcast, bunch of just bread and circus, man. Conservative federal judge say they won't hire Colombian graduates. See that? Because of who? Why won't you hire these graduates? Because they they have an opinion. Yeah, that's sort of. But they talk that freedom of speech shit. Anyway, um, hey, but like I said again, man, I'm gonna end out there. I'm not gonna keep it long, but hey, you you can roll all through, go into the business. You can see shit all fucked up. Americans have spent their savings. Of course they have. They ain't got no fucking choice. Economists worry about what comes next. See, articles like this, these are the type of articles motherfuckers should be into. See? 
Americans saved quite a bit of money during the pandemic. 2.1 million worth, 2.2.1 trillion worth to be exact. The extra cushion meant that consumers kept spending in the years that followed, and the economy remained robust despite rising interest rates and persistent, though gradually decreasing inflation. But now that extra spending money is gone. Economists are concerned about what comes next. What's happening? The most recent estimates of excess pandemic savings in the U.S. economy have turned negative, according to, uh, I guess, whoever, uh, the Federal Reserve in San Francisco. That means many Americans have more debt than savings and suggest that American households fully spent their pandemic era savings as of March 2024. Consumer spending plays a crucial role in driving economic growth in the United States, and it has shown remarkable strength over the past two years. But now that excess savings have now dwindled to nothing that could hurt spending and spell trouble for the American economy. And hey, we, you know, again, we pray for the downfall of America. These are the things that people should be worried about, but they worried about a bunch of other bullshit. See, Esau, he'll give you your basketball games, your football games, you know, your Angel Reese, your Caitlin, you know, the WNBA bullshit, um, you know, your NBA bullshit, whatever, you know, they'll throw all these little stories in the news. Your, uh, you know, your P. Diddy's and your, you know, your Cat Williams. And they're going to keep something for you to keep you entertained or to keep you ear hustling. But a lot of these people, man, they're not paying attention to what's to come. And that shit going to hit them like hit them over the head like a goddamn bat from out of nowhere. Sammy Sosa style. You know, you can't even mention Sammy Sosa, the poor fella. And he's out here looking like a goddamn ghost now. Anyway. Hey, this type of stuff is happening, man, and, and nothing is going to change it because it's just time. And all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Let me grab one more in the apocrypha and out here. But you know Joe Biden, he about to do that speech, and you know he going to be walking on eggshells, boy. He's going to be walking on eggshells because, he, he you know, he's going to be on a tightrope type of walk because he wants to, he he, he can't just straight out just, He's going to be leaning both ways. You know, he's going to be wobbling on that tightrope. I'll put it that way because he wants those um those Muslim votes. He want to make it seem as if he's doing, you know, um something for, you know, um Gaza, so to speak. You know, he's going to talk down on on, on Hamas, of course. And, and, you know, but again, uh, he's the one that's, you know, sending this fucking aid to have these people attack like how they're being attacked, man. So hey, it is what it is, man. But, um. Get this one. Sirach 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue a man that have joy for his children. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing. This is what we're watching. This is what we've been praying for. You know, you should be joyful, man. You into this truth. The Lord is giving you this truth and is giving you this complete understanding of this 100% truth. And you can see the fall of your enemy. And you know that soon and very soon he's going to completely fall. And that's going to mean that you're going to go into the kingdom. We're praying that we, you know, we're part of the hopefully elect. But this place is, is done, man. It's almost over with. It's only a few more major um, prophecies to come to pass. And, and, and see that article right there that I just went into. This right here could easily lead up to um them, you know what I'm saying, hitting you with that MOTB. Social income credits and all kinds of weird shit. Esau want to put a damn PlayStation in you, man. He wants to implant you. See, stuff like this, they can easily crash the economy, man. And and and, and go forward. And have you at a point, because they're in control. That's why we go into that Job 9 and 24, man. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where? Who is he? He's in control of, he can take total control of all food. What, he has it already. What I'm talking about as far as like companies, whether they large companies or small comp companies, he can take over that shit and say, up. Oh, we're going to need you guys to um, comply with our rules. The military is coming to take over the warehouses. Um, all food and water goes through us. <laughs> and it's nothing for them to do that, man, because they have that power because why they are in control. And see, that's the reason why we want so badly for our Lord to come back. man. We we tired of Esau, man. We're, we're tired of. Not knowing exactly what we're eating. We're tired of not knowing exactly what we're breathing. We're tired of not knowing exactly what we're drinking, man. We're just at the, you know, 
the so-called mercy of this man because he has no fucking mercy. You see what I'm saying? So we just waiting, man. We're patiently waiting. And the Lord is gonna get down soon. We almost there. No, hey, don't 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 trip on it. These are indicators right here. These are perfect tokens to show us that you know what I'm saying. It's not gonna be that much longer, man, before the Lord, you know, push this place into the brink of nothing. And all praises to Yahweh about Shimia was shot for it. So with that, pray that the lesson was edifying. Call me on show. And a Baba Ball.